how's it going? If you're new to my channel, my name is Jackie. And if you're a returning viewer, so welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. And if you're new, um, I'm a lady in her mid fifties, 56 to be exact. And I'm kind of a talky channel. I like anti-aging stuff. So um, I do, you know, get Botox and a bit of fillers and, and, and that kind of thing. And also um, I love makeup and um, I have a cat that I'll talk about a lot. So this channel is kind of about everything. Every, everything that kind of pops into my mouth, you know? <laughs> Sorry, into my head. I don't know where I went off there. But anyways, anything, you know, could just come out while I'm talking. But anyway, that's my disclaimer. So I don't focus on uh, one thing. So what am I gonna tell you about today? Well. I'll, I'll get into it, but I'm going to show you some. I know people, you know, like some of you will know who Jeffree Star is and some of you won't know and some of you won't care. But I want to show you, sometimes you have colors and a palette. This is the conspiracy palette that I have of his and the video isn't about this. But I want to show you that you can actually, here it is, you see there's colors that you would never wear on your eyes. Like for instance, this is a bit hot for me, this pink here. It's called Trisha. You know, there's a YouTuber there. I mean, I feel silly saying these things because they're so big on YouTube, but maybe you don't know anything about them. Trisha Paytas, okay? She is something special. <laughs> I say that kindly. Anyway, so you can actually make lipstick, right? So I have a lipstick on right now. So you can use anything. You can use a super light uh, lipstick that you could barely see. And so what I'm going to do is, first you're going to think it's going to look pretty dark. So I'm using uh, Trisha right there. Okay, and I'm gonna put her all over my mouth right now. Okay, so. Okay. You see how pink that went? And also, I have a ring light on me, just so you know. I have the ring light there so that it makes me look younger than I am, 20%, maybe 30% younger. <laughs> ring lights look amazing. So, if you've ever seen people on YouTube, and honestly, there are people who know how to blend their makeup so that it's so perfect. But ring lights help to smooth your makeup out a bit. I mean, I did work at blaming, uh, blending mine a lot this morning. But even if you don't really blend it that great, the ring light seems to soften things as well as age. I'm just letting you know. for people who won't admit it, right? I'm in my 50s, I do have lines, I do have stuff, and these help to take them away a little bit. I mean, it's not perfect. Well, okay, a lot sometimes, right? It depends on what light you're in. I'm gonna sneeze. What in the COVID? <laughs> I don't wanna sneeze. Yeah, like right now, you just, like it's just dust and you're outside or you get a little tickle in your throat and you're about to go, <coughs> and you don't want to because you're afraid someone's going to spray you with, um, you know, braid or something, right? So you got, you just gotta hold it in. Gotta hold it in like something else, right? Like, okay. So now I'm gonna take this color. His fonts are ridiculous, especially for site challenge people. I'm gonna take Ranch. Ranch is right there. That's kind of like a frosty type white. And I'm just gonna put it over Trisha just to take it down, okay? And you're gonna see what I mean. Notice the difference between the top and bottom? Notice it? Okay, so I'm gonna show you, you know, that's what I'm doing, right? So I can't do both of them at the same time. Oh, am I totally using the wrong finger? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna, you know? All right. I was just trying to get a thumbnail probably. Okay, there you go. Okay, uh-huh. Hmm. Now, I think my lips are looking darker for some reason and bigger on here, but um, that's, I don't know, camera angles, right? So I'm going to put a little more on. See how pigmented his stuff is? I'll do a swatch here. For, oh, no, I can't do a swatch with that finger. It's got lipstick on it. And I don't know why I'm using this finger. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it on purpose. Anyway. There, 
and made lipstick. A very frosty, uh, sort of metallic -y looking lipstick. Which, you know what? I really, really like. Yeah, that's why you came here. Okay. All right, there we go, and I like it. So you can make lipstick with these two colors here. And I did it. Okay, now, um, if you're curious, if you're curious, um, this yeah, I guess this is about how to make uh, lipstick with your eyeshadow palette. Cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, grasping at straws here. So the next thing I'm gonna talk to you about is Okay, exfoliation. All right, I want to tell you about it. It makes a difference in your life. It really, 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 really does. And oh, I gotta go get the thing that I need to talk to you about. Just a second, don't don't look at my bum. So we're going to talk about exfoliation. <laughs> I say it like it's so exciting. So what I do is once a week, I use this or others, but I'm really liking this Dr. Teal Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. And I think it might have a lavender smell to it. Uh, did they say? Anyways, I put this in my bath. I make, you know, not a big bath, but a medium bath and I soaked my entire body in it. I had been using other Epsom salts, but it didn't seem to have the same kick as this one. So I used this, and for some, you know, like I exfoliate, right? So I put this in the bathtub, I soaked for 20 minutes, and all of a sudden, you know, I go to, you know, I put some soap on my legs, and, and all of a sudden I can feel the skin. I know, it's disgusting. And I thought, no, I actually, like, it sloughed my skin off. So I gave myself a good rub down, really. And, uh, you know, because I do soak regularly in Epsom salts once a week, 20 minutes. And, you know, I didn't get the same kind of results as when I used this. I don't know why it, I mean, I imagine Epsom salts are the same qualities, aren't they? Oh yeah, this has a lavender smell. It will make your bathroom smell really nice. I've been using the walmart -y brand, which is good. But for some reason, when I used this, I had a lot of like, I'm sorry, dead skin coming off, which you couldn't see with the naked eye, <laughs> but it came off. And I'm like, wow. Okay, so once a week. And when I put this on, what I do is crack two, crack two egg yolks, and I put them in a bowl without the egg whites, okay? Just give them a quick stir. And before, okay, so I poured my Epsom salt bath. I get my egg yolks ready, and I put egg yolk all over my entire face and my neck and here. I used to just do it on my face, so there is a discrepancy between this part and this part. Well, also I've got fake tan on, but anyway, and, and lots of makeup. But, so I put that all on. <laughs> Lately I've been doing the top of my shoulders, disgusting, you know, my hair up. So I look yellow and it pulls your face super tight. Now, the reason I use egg yolk, because it has a high concentrated shin of vitamin A, and you would see it, if you do it, a couple days in a row, your face will get this pink tinge to it, it and it, it really, it sloughs off the wrinkles. I swear, I swear up and down. I've been doing it for years on and off, and I just started doing it again regularly, um, once a week, and it, you know, like, you can get Botox and you can get filler, because someone will say, well, you get Botox and you get some filler. Yeah, but I don't get, I get Botox up here. I don't Botox anything down here, and I did get filler, but it, filler will help to lift your skin up and smooth it, but it won't change the actual texture of your skin. So my skin is pretty good from doing this for years. Is it like 25? No, but you know, I'm an old boot. I'm like 56, right? Am I 55? I don't know. Anyways, so I have that all over my shoulders and <laughs> it's disgusting. And right down into between that, you know, I've been doing that lately. And I just sit in this bath and I listen to a show. Did you see my tummy? I hope not. No. I listen to a show and I just, I just kind of lay here, you know? And then, 
you know, I shower all of that off. The egg yolk is a bit tough to get off your face, right? It'll stick to everything. But it's sort of like incubating under there. I 100% believe in this. I was on a bus and a lady uh, from India, recently from India, now this is when I was like 30, you know, I still had a bit of acne. She says, use this. You won't, you will look so young when you're young and you won't have any ac acne. And I thought, okay, I'm going to try it. So I did it faithfully. Does it lift your skin and get, no, no, but it will make the texture look better. I believe in it. I believe in her. I believed in her. So that's what I do now. Um, then I give myself a little, you know, scrub down with, you know, some lotion or soap with one of these. This is just from Walmart. I use this to take the egg yolk off my face. So I don't exfoliate my face every day. It's just once a week. And this is, you know, can be intense. So and then I exfoliate here. And because I put fake tan on, you don't see the redness. So that's a way to combat it. You don't have to have a super dark fake tan. You can get one of those fake tan lotions. It'll calm that redness and it will go away. But I use one of these. Walmart. Give the whole body a rub down. Got a back brush. Now. Have you ever seen a Korean body scrub? You know, you'll go, uh, I've never been for one to one, but look up Korean body scrub. I saw a video where people who exfoliate regularly went to the Korean body scrub and they were shocked. They were shocked. This mitt is nothing. This is like a kitten licking your hand compared to what they use. At least the video I saw. So you go and they put you like on a, they oil you up, I think. They wash you. What do they do with you? They put you on a slab, they oil you all up, uh, like you're like a fish, like, you know, that they flopped onto this thing. It's like, I don't know, is it marble or, or some kind of table and you're on it and they, you know, they hose you down and they, they, they put oil and also they, they, and then they start scrubbing. I don't know if I'm doing it in the right order. Now, they scrub everything, okay? So if you go to one, you got to be prepared and authentic scrubbing down. Do they rub you with oil first? Yeah, they, I think they do. And yeah, they do. Okay. They take this, these mitts and they just scrub. They scrub you. They lift your leg up. They lift your armpits up. They get in every crevice you have. Yes, they do. They're okay. They're careful, but you're pretty much naked unless you don't want to be. So they rub everything. Your boobs. I saw it. I was like, mm, the girl was like, it's a bit intense. They lift your leg up. They get, imagine this is the leg. They get right Am I sweating? Or is that just, let me see. No, I'm not. Is there a shadow there? I'm not, sorry. <laughs> I should cut that out. I should just take that out. It's really, you know, that's why I got 600 toes of subs. People go, oh, oh, unsubscribe. <laughs> Anyhow, for those of you who hang in for my moments, they thank you. Anyhow, so they lift their leg up, they scrub like your butt crack right and you're you know where and 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 you can see the skin slawing off you know like you ever a kid and you went like this on your ankle because you're playing in the sand and you made like skin or was that just me was I just a filthy dirty kid that likes to hang out in the dirt I don't know anyway you can see all the skin coming off and apparently exhilarating then they wash you they throw water on you they soap you up they wash your hair they give it a good scrub you, by the time you leave you are, you are so clean. Like I read an article where I think the lady said she looked like a dolphin after. Like <laughs> so shiny. Anyway, so the second thing I use, only on my feet because I think this is about the quality of a, cur a Korean body scrub brush. But don't quote me and don't use this because I don't want to hear how you scrubbed yourself super hard with something I said and then you got an infection. And because I got, I got no money to give you, honestly. So there's a disclaimer. Don't do it. <laughs> Anyways, what is this? This is a sparkle sponge and it's for washing your pots. And why did I buy it? Because it was pink and I thought it was pretty and it's a sparkle sponge. See, I use that on my feet, on my heel and give them a good scrub. See, it doesn't feel that bad. Let me see. Hmm. Let's take it. Let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, it's pretty intense. So, I use this on my feet and then I'm exfoliated from head to toe. Yeah, it is a dish sponge. It absolutely is. But in my world, it's a foot scrubber. Okay? So, 
that's what I do. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's what I gotta say about what I do to myself. <laughs> Anyhow, I guess I better go. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and we'll see another one. I really appreciate you coming around. And um, yeah, you can make lipstick with Jeffree Star. Nope, not his best friend. Don't know him. Um, don't care about the politics behind them. I know, but you know, I'm not. I'm not 20, and I'm not 25, and I just buy my makeup and I just put it on my face. So there we go. It's a little dirty, so again, I use this color and this color. Okay. All right. Anyway, we'll see you soon. I better get going. The gym awaits. Take care. Oh, hey, did I say you can? Yeah, comment and uh, like and subscribe. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Here's my voice. I know my bed's messy. I was doing a video. Dexter's sleeping because he woke me up at 3.30 in the morning.